When I think about these uh, substances that, that are hypothesized, like dark matter, it reminds me a lot of some of the earlier substances that we've had in science. You know, just the, the taste of it, the sound, the, the proposal sounds to me a lot like uh, the caloric theory of heat or something, the phlogiston theory of heat, where you have this fluid that, uh, you know, is flowing through the substances responsible for their temperature variations and so forth. And then eventually somebody realizes like, oh no, it's just actually this mundane friction process where the atoms are kind of grinding up against each other. And, uh, you know, what's funny about that story is that once again, kind of like with the Ptolemaic system we were discussing, uh, the mathematics for the flow of this fluid work perfectly. It's a fantastically predictive model of heat transfer to treat it like a fluid, right? To treat it like this kind of dark heat matter stuff. Um, and so I wonder if not to criticize dark matter, but to say, is this just a phase that we go through when we're approaching a new phenomenon that we don't understand at the fine grained level? This kind of thing is possible in my opinion. Um, in fact, just now we, I was at a talk, um, by Milgram for like a couple of hours, um, where, uh, he was, uh, showing the results regarding the very, very tight correlation between the distribution of visible mass um, and the rotation curves, uh, which is observed, um, which uh, actually does lend strong sort of support to the idea that it, it's just the visible mass um, that's there. And we need to sort of modify our understanding how visible matter works in, or in this case, probably how gravity works. Um, but certainly how some aspect of how matter organizes itself on sort of kiloparsec scale 